Good morning, YouTube. Uh, this is Joe in the tiny house out here at St. Bernard Acres. It's uh, Sunday the 20th. I hope everything is good in your neck of the woods. It's a little bit chilly out in this neck of the woods. Uh, definitely uh, fall-like, crisp morning. The uh, dew is quite heavy. If I had pumpkins, it, the dew would be heavy on the pumpkins. Um, now I don't think fall officially starts until Wednesday. Uh, but uh, the change of the seasons doesn't exactly follow a calendar. I don't think it waits around until a certain date before it decides to change. Uh, we're definitely getting into fall. And I like it. Uh, so, it's a welcome thing, getting fall weather. I can get a lot more done. Uh, when you work all day long, and get work all night long, and it's, you know, in the 80s and 90s and humid, you just don't feel like doing that much. Uh, I'm sure once we're retired and living out here, it'll be a whole different story. Working the hours that we work, it's hard to motivate ourselves <laughs> and need to come out here and do some work. But today it's going to be so nice, just a beautiful day. Uh, no clouds, mid 70s, no humidity. It's just going to be a perfect day. So I'm going to put the other window in while I'm out here. I'm going to fix all my electric up and run the line across and make sure all that works the way I hope it does uh, because next weekend we are spending the entire weekend out here and I'll be bringing out the mini fridge, the microwave, a uh, little coffee maker and you know I want to have some power inside here when we come out since they stole the generator and uh, we won't be able to use it and I'm not buying any more batteries uh, so I bought, you know, the wire, you saw the video where I was making my 250 foot extension cord. Uh, and I want to unroll that and make sure all of that's good, everything works out here uh, before we bring everything out to spend the weekend. The, uh, but it's, it's finally getting to where we can work again. And it's going to start slowing down at work, which will give us more time out here to actually do things, hopefully. Uh, next weekend, I'm going to bring out all the, you know, game boxes, the blue plastic boxes for all the receptacles and switches we're going to lay out where we want everything. And I'm going to bring out a uh, roll of wire, a uh, 200 amp service panel, and I'm going to start running all the wiring in here. So then we can, you know, start insulating and putting up walls. But this weekend, I'll be putting in the window. Uh, doing all the electric work to make sure we have power out here next weekend. Uh, probably mowing at least, you know, in the front yard because it, it, we had some really good rain last night. I know it's, it could use mowing now. And I need to bag up a lot of grass to take home to the chickens. I mean, it's, <laughs> we mowed the lawn last weekend, mowed everything at the house. And it's like I go out trying to pick grass. And there isn't any grass to give them and they get pissed off at me. Uh, so I'll mow out here, <laughs> rake up a bunch of grass, put it in the bags and take it into them. Let them have some St. Bernard Acres grass. Uh, see if they like that since they'll be living out here someday. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, not much of an update, just, you know, having some coffee before I got to get to work. I'll uh, videotape putting in the window and, uh, you know, because I'm going to do it differently than I did the other one. Uh, the outside wall really bears no weight. It carries no weight, so I don't have to go and put in two by six headers and things like that. It's a lot, you know, more simply just cutting out the spot, getting it all level and everything, and uh, installing the window. So we'll have that one done today. Uh, 
I may pick up one more window and put over here next weekend. Uh, the reason why I went with those windows, they're, they're readily available at Lowe's. Um, so I didn't have to, you know, buy eight of them at one time. I can buy them, you know, every couple of weeks on payday, I can buy a window if I wanted to. The, the style is not going to change or anything like that. Um, so I'll get that one knocked out. I'll get the electric done, get the place cleaned up, mow, and, uh, just enjoy some peace and quiet out here. It's uh, just unbelievable how the 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 whole change in, in attitude from coming out here versus being in Wheeling. Um, it just changes everything about your 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 whole person changes. Uh, so I can't wait to move here. I'll probably get bored with it once I move here. Probably hate it, but I have my doubts. Uh, so that's pretty much the update from the house here at the homestead. I've got, you know, work to do at home still as well, but I wanted to get away for a few hours. I did, I will tell you this. Friday night we came out here, but it was really late. And we planned on spending the night Friday night. Uh, so we've got an air mattress because I'm done sleeping on the ground and on the floor. My camping days are, are very limited now. I don't do it nearly like I used to. Because I just don't like getting up off the floor or off the ground anymore. Uh, my bones don't like to do that. So we bought a real nice air mattress, you know, and with a pump and all that. So I'm like, well, I got the batteries installed. You saw the video where I hooked up all my batteries. But I don't have an inverter. They stole my inverter when they broke into the barn. They probably had no clue what it was, but it was a pretty red box, so they took it. Um, but, you know, I went by Walmart, pick up an inverter, uh, just a cheap little thing so that we could blow up the air mattress. And, you know, it was too late that night to try to run all the electric and everything and get all that set up. But, uh, the batteries would work fine. You know, I have a light, you know, we'd have light in here. And it would work out really well. So, I went by and I picked up one of these. Now, I don't really have a problem with this brand. I'm, you know, I've had a couple other items. Schumacher. Uh, but this one... The only one they had, I didn't want this one particularly, but the only thing Walmart had in stock, this Walmart out here sucks by the way, uh, it's the only one that they had in stock, and I didn't think about running up the street to pile it right up the road from Walmart, but they charge so much. So I bought this one, 750 watt, you know, two outlets, got the meter on it to tell you how much you're using. How much battery you have, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So I got the box, hooked it up. It doesn't work. I was so pissed. And I did everything I could to make it work, and it will not work. So I changed out the wires on it to where I put the cigarette lighter part in. Took it out to the truck, plugged it in, plugged my cell phone in, nothing. You know, the thing out of the box does not work. And I was so mad Friday night. Um, I mean, it's going back today. I'm taking it back up to Walmart and giving them a piece of my mind. Because uh, it just, you know, you don't expect things like that to not work when you buy a brand new and take it out of the box. Uh, but yeah, that bummed us out totally Friday night. We couldn't blow up the mattress. We couldn't have any light. You know, nothing. So, uh, we just said screw it when I'm back to Wheeling. <laughs> you know, we were tired anyway. It was a long day of work. Uh, so I came out this morning. I left about 7 o'clock this morning. Everybody else was still sleeping. And I'll get some of my work done and Go drop this off and get my money back on it. Uh, maybe buy something else around here. I don't know. But uh, that's 
pretty much the update. I mean, you know, not a whole lot going on here. It's going to get to be a lot more now. The weather's going to be cooler. It's going to be more fun to be out here. And uh, we're slowing down at work, so we're not going to be working so many hours. We'll actually get to spend more time out here. So we should be able to speed things up a bit and uh, start having an update on the ghost video. You know, I did that preview video. Uh, I'm still working on the rest of it. It's You know, I'm not a film editor, I'm not a sound guy, I'm not any of that kind of stuff. I'm trying to get rid of all the background noise, the crickets and the locusts and all that because, I mean, I didn't get a, any video of a figure or that figure we saw in the window. There's no, you know, video of that, just more sound, more what sounds like talking uh, when Nick and I are in there and during that time when Nick and I weren't in there, the camera ran for about an hour, hour and a half with Nick and me over here. Uh, we weren't anywhere near the place. And uh, so I'm still working on trying to make it, you know, there's no point in putting it up. It was basically the same stuff that you've already seen. Uh, if I get it all cleaned up the way I want to and get it all working right, uh, I've got a lot of the uh, interior of the house before it got too dark. Some really neat stuff about the house that, you know, would be interesting to see. Um, you know, that kind of stuff, too. So I'm working on it. And what I'd like to do, I was talking to a friend of mine, and we would do this if I could figure out a way to, to pull it off. I get 4G service out here, and uh, which is amazing. On this hill, I get Sprint 4G service. Uh, but I think it's because of the, all the oil and gas stuff going on around here, probably. But what I want to do is, is set up a hotspot. And if I have enough internet speed, enough uh, bandwidth to do a live streaming event, uh, what we were talking about doing was on Halloween night, setting up in that house and doing a live stream event from inside the house and uh, chat with people and you know, <laughs> answer questions and let you see what happens in there live on Halloween night and then have the video that I can show also, you know, the different stuff that we've captured. But I gotta see if I can even get all that to work. I don't even know how that works. So I got more research to go into that. But let me know if you'd like to see something like that because I'll sure enough do it. As long as I got somebody with me that will stay in the house with me. You know, I don't want somebody like Nick telling me to leave the camera, leave the trap, all this, get out of here. You know, because that scared me. Uh, but I think my friend will stay in there with me. We'll stay in there all night, you know, and just see what happens. Uh, but I can't get uh, DSL out here. Um, all I can do is use the hotspot, the satellite. ISP that I use right now for my security, it costs so much money per gig. I mean, I have the bare minimum plan. And if I did a live streaming event on that plan, I don't think I could afford to have it anymore. Uh, so that's why I'm trying to say I have unlimited data with Sprint. Uh, I can use as much as I want. I mean, Alex was using. We were probably for about a year there averaging 150 gigabyte a month. Cause he'd go to work, he was on my plan. He'd go to work and sit there and watch movies all night long, string movies to his phone. Uh, I mean, I have to have it grandfathered in every time I contract. That's why I can never lose really Sprint. Uh, because we get grandfathered in with that plan. And I don't think I would get away with 100, 150 gigabyte a month anywhere else. So, as long as they're doing that, and if I can figure out, I don't even know if my iPhone, iPhone will be a hotspot. But I'm going to call and see what I can do. Uh, and we'll try to set up something like that just for fun. Uh, but that's pretty much my update. Not a whole lot going on. Sorry about that. Uh, there will be more happening. Um, I'm going to get to work now. Try to get all this stuff covered. And then get out of here. Uh, 
I'm sure there's more I wanted to talk about, but I don't want to start rambling. If Gail was here, she'd remind me of all the stuff I wanted to talk about. Uh, but that's it. I hope you all have a good week. hope you have a good week coming up. Uh, I know we're going to. It's not going to be as hot. <laughs> That's going to make it better. And yes, I will be one of those people who has complained about the heat this summer. But come February, I'm going to sit here whining and crying and bitching about the cold. So yes, I do that both ways. I bitch about it. You know, if I could have this weather year-round, I'd still find something to complain about. So don't pay any attention to what I say about it. But I hope you all have a good week. I appreciate you watching. Uh... I got another contest coming up, so I'm going to work on a video while I'm sitting out here explaining that one. It's going to be kind of different than anything I've done before. But my channel's really growing, my subscribers are really growing, and I've actually made some money off of YouTube already, so time to give some of it away. Because I've always said that's what this channel is about, is sharing it. If I get it, you know, <laughs> I'll share it with everybody, I don't care. Uh, but I, I, I got an idea for to do something, so watch my next video and you'll see it. Thank y'all. I'm out.